Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create endless auto scrolling animation in Figma. Before we start, hurry up and check out all the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, the first thing that we want to do here is you first want to create a new project here in Figma. Now, once we've created a new project, let's go ahead and create our first frame. Let's go ahead and click on the frame icon here. And we want to choose the option for desktop and choose desktop. Once we have it, let's go ahead and reposition it as this one. So in this case, we now need to first add our first rectangle. So let's get, go ahead and add a rectangle here. Now in this case, I'll be resizing this one to a specific size. Let's go to our design here and we want to size this as 280 for the width and for the height is going to be uh, 360. Now this is good. So what we need to do next is we need to make a copy of it. So let's go ahead and make a copy. Control C, Control V. And let's make another one here. So let's just reposition it. Control C, Control V again. And position again. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and highlight everything here. Control C, Control V again. And we should now have like six boxes now in our uh, project. Now what we need to do next is we need to uh, basically arrange this in a way that we could actually uh, 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 basically have a, a specific position on it. So I would what, like what I like to do here is I want to highlight everything here and I want to actually use the auto layout here. Choose the upper left here and the size the spacing is going to be around 10. So this one is good. So what next you want to do is you want to actually select the whole frame here. So, so let's select every rectangle here and want to add a new app here. Search for Unsplash under plugins. Open it up. And we want to add images here. So for example, I'm just going to add an animal image here. So let's just choose this one. So it might take a while. So let's just wait for it. But once it's actually loaded up, what we need to do next is we need to make copies of this image. So in this case, since they are already highlighted, highlighted let's go ahead and click on Control C. Control V again to paste it. As you can see, we now have this formatting here. Now, since we made now a copy, what we need to do next is we need to create another frame. So let's go and click on the first frame here. And we want to right click on it. And we want to actually click on the frame selection. And that should actually create a new frame above it. So we are now good for this one. So what we need to do next is we need to adjust the actual width or uh, width for this one. So let's go into like the desktop here. So the width is around this much. Let's go ahead and copy this one. So we're going to select our frame. Let's go ahead and adjust the width for it. And since we already adjusted, what we need to do next is we need it to actually uh, hide or the clip content option here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, as you can see, we now have this look. Now, what we need to do next is we need it to actually resize or uh, in this case, we want to actually um, make this in a way that it's actually uh, quite moving. So I'm going to actually move this around a bit. So as you can see, this is what's going to look like. So what we need to do next is what I like to do is I want to make a copy of this frame. So let's go click on control C, control V to make a copy of it. And we want to actually drag it just below this one. Now, once we've done that, uh, what we need to do next is we need to adjust the look of it. So we want to actually move the frame. So we have a bunch of pictures here. We want to make the last uh, section to be visible in the section here. So again, let's go and click on clip content here. So we will be able to see it. Let's go and click on frame one here within our copied frame here. Let's go and move it in this direction here. And let's make sure that it's actually aligning properly here. Let's go ahead and make sure it's actually properly aligned. So I think this one is going to be good. So this one is okay. Let's go ahead and click on frame three again and click on clip content. Now, once we've done that, what we need to do next is we need to create a uh, selection. So let's go ahead and highlight these two frames here. Let's go ahead and click on component and let's go ahead and click on create component set. Let's go ahead and select the empty space here. Let's go ahead and first select the first frame here, frame two. And we want to click on prototype at the top right. Now here, let's go ahead and point this to our second frame. And we want to change this to instead of on click, we want to uh, after delay, make this as one MS. And we want to change this instead of instant, we want to click on smart animate and make sure that the uh, smart animate is set to linear. And we also want to set this as 10,000, so 10,000 MS. 
So once we've set that, let's go ahead and select the empty space again. Let's go, go, let's go ahead and select the second frame that we just created. Let's go ahead and point this back so we have a looping effect here. And let's go ahead and change this to after you delay again, 1ms. Let's go ahead and click on change to, uh, my instead of uh, setting this to smart animate, let's go ahead and click on instant. And from here, let's go ahead and make sure it's actually instant here and we are now good. Now, what we need to do next is we now need to add our asset into our desktop. So let's go ahead and click on asset here. Let's go ahead and drag it into our desktop here. Make sure that we align it properly. Once you've done that, you could go ahead and select your desktop here and click on the flow starting point here. Let's go ahead and click on the plus button here and that should be good. And once you've done that, you could go ahead and click on the play button here and you should now have that animation. Now, as you can see, it's going to be looping infinitely uh, on our desktop here and you should now have that effect. So the only uh, downside here is make sure that your uh, scroll uh, or section here or banner here is actually in the same width of the desktop so that you have that um, infinite looking uh, look on your Figma project here. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.